here it is on Friday afternoon, Good Friday, April 2nd, 2021. And you can see the traffic is backed up here on Southwest 20th Avenue here in Gainesville. Already at 2.30 in the afternoon. Usually this doesn't happen until about 5 o'clock p.m. or so uh, when the university lets out. But this is no doubt holiday weekend traffic and what a mess, huh? Look at this, these big old gator buses coming by. Hello friends, welcome to my April 2021 movie project, as yet untitled, because I haven't figured out what I'm going to call it. But I wanted to let all of you know that these movie projects, as time goes on, will become my main artistic projects and products. It's something I've been working toward for quite some time now, for years actually. Gradually, slowly, steadily. But this is something that I will be doing more and more of in the future and less and less of the audio albums. I hope you'll join me each month for these HAL movies. Thanks a lot for watching. Okay, so you know, I went to the Cheesecake Factory uh, restaurant a little while ago and uh, ordered the sweet potato enchiladas. They were quite good. Uh, after the waiter had served it to me, he came back a few minutes later to check on me and ask me if I needed anything else. And I said, hey, you know, I'd like to have some hot sauce with this because I thought it was a little bit bland or milder than, than I wanted it to be. And I wanted to zing it up just a bit. And he said, well, uh, sure, we've got, I can either bring sriracha or I can bring Tabasco sauce. I said, well, bring Tabasco sauce. So because of COVID and all that and trying to keep people safe and, and uh, all that, instead of bringing me a Tabasco bottle with which you can just shake out a few drops at a time, he brought the Tabasco sauce in like a little, little dish or a little ramekin kind of thing. Well, not thinking about it, I dumped half of that little dish of Tabasco sauce on my sweet potato enchiladas. Thereby, in effect, kind of, sort of, ruining them. Well, you know, I was able to, like, <clears throat> flip them over and eat them from the bottom side, and that worked out pretty well. But, you know, this is just a, <clears throat> another episode in my continuing... Um, <clears throat> phase of clumsiness which started back in early March or whatever <clears throat> and is apparently continuing on into April uh, luckily <clears throat> it was not life threatening at least not yet cleared out uh, all the congestion I had in my sinuses uh, which was a good thing uh, so uh, <clears throat> that's good anyway there's my report about the mistake I made with the sweet potato enchiladas, which were quite good. Next time, I'm going to try 
the cauliflower tacos. That's a new country in the Middle East. Banana stand. And head potentate. And dictator Stanley Oliver McGee. It's true. Mmm. Mmm. Good morning, friends. How are you? I'm eating the bananas, you see. Bananas are very high in potassium. And my doctor recommended that I eat a lot of bananas because of the medications that I take. My potassium might get depleted. I take a potassium pill supplement, but which strangely is somewhat salty tasting. Anyway, I like bananas better than I like taking that pill. Not that there's anything wrong with that pill, I just swallow it, but if I let it dissolve a little bit of my tongue, it does taste salty, which I said I think is kind of strange. What do I know, though?
morning, friends. It's Easter 2021. Orange juice, drink pizza. I know. I can drink it without the uh, champagne. But in I'm it. saying we have to go together so I could have it. Uh -huh. And yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. Yes, they have a whole make your own grit full. Everything is too wicked. Yeah, in the stuff. And our pictures can be taken right there. We need to get that done before the sun gets in the wrong area. We can do it now. Where's Mark? This area, is, I heard him say here. Oh. I know we're out here messing your stuff up. Can't come and eat. We're not going to bother you. Come on down and eat. That's a little brown one right over there, a little, little bitty guy. He's over there. Mix it. Butter boys. I turned on the heat under the water so it's always hot. No, it's that bird up there making the sound. Thank you. Here you go, Mom. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. 
a tiny bit for now, at least. For a few decades now, I've referred to that street as Crack Alley. I, I guess that maybe that was true back in maybe the 80s and 90s and then, what, it became Meth Alley? Uh, or in any case, way down at the end of that street is a cemetery with graves from the 1800s. And that was the cemetery for a time which is no longer in existence which used to be at the corner of what is now Archer Road and 34th Street.
My coworker Marty brought this back from uh, Tennessee when he went to went on vacation there at the end of uh, end of March. It's all right. It's pretty good. There goes Mark to work. Stop requested. For your safety, it's crossing the street. Please wait until the truck departs with both lanes and use crosswalks.
Smith. Jimmy legs, I got the Jimmy legs, I can't control on me. yourself. Second Hobbit Breakfast. Good morning, friends. It is Thursday, April 8th, 2021. I'm out with Stanley after we just had our second Hobbit breakfast. I had uh, uh, the Trinity mix, which is onion, celery, and bell pepper with garlic and Cajun seasoning. And then I put in some sliced turkey sausage and some potatoes. And I fried all that up with some scrambled egg and some cheese. And Stanley, for his breakfast, also had potato and ground beef and scrambled egg and cheese for his second Hobbit breakfast. Today was the day I had I had to give him his trifectus, which is his monthly all, you know, three in one dose pill that he gets, which prevents hips, heart wounds, and uh, blues. 
So uh, we had a good second Hobbit breakfast and now we're out taking our early morning big walk. No, 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 no. Back up. Back up. Come on over here. You don't bark at neighbor. Come on. Be nice. This morning when I was out walking with Stanley at about 1 o'clock, I found this key to the lockbox over here. Uh, I found it in a yard back there toward the back of the apartment complex. And sure enough, it's missing from 4676. I'm just going to stick that right in there and the uh, postal lady will find that and hopefully figure out what's going on. Stanley and I, uh, hey fan, Stanley and I are walking by my old apartment building, 1909. That's the building I first lived in when I moved into this apartment complex back in January of 1992. Yes, I've lived in this uh, apartment complex that long. Uh, 29 years, which is as long as I've worked at the hospital. Anyway, about 10 or 12 years ago, uh, we moved to the apartment in the back. My brother, Mark, had moved down from Indianapolis and that one bedroom apartment up there was just too small. But uh, these apartments were built in 1974. Uh, and when I moved, first moved in here and up until about five or six years ago, this was called the Ventura Apartments Complex. Now it's called Live L-I-V Apartments, which is a horrible name. Uh, gosh, just terrible, but I guess I'll learn to live with it. Well, here's the debris from somebody's drinking spree party thing last night. <laughs> My brother Mark is home sick again today from his job. He didn't get ill very much or get colds or whatever, but he's got one now. He's got a real scratchy throat and congestion and all that stuff. Anyway, that's, that's the light on in his bedroom up there.
an airplane flying north, perhaps from Orlando or Tampa or Miami, some point south, but heading north, you know, who knows, maybe to Atlanta or Charlotte. And there's another one. Or New York or Chicago, but the main hubs in the south for airline traffic are Atlanta and Charlotte, North Carolina. Today, when we tried to walk by here, these tulips were completely closed up. And now they're starting to open a little bit as the sun comes up. symbolism of the everyday, the occult symbolism of the quotidian, the occult symbolism of the everyday, the occult symbolism of the everyday, the occult symbolism of the everyday, the occult symbolism of the quotidian. through from the slats up here. Tell your Anka. Tell Anka what you want him.
note of the pine trees in a neat row. This area at one time was devoted to agricultural pine. Many of the apartment complexes down here to the east, some of the relatively newer ones that is, were, when I moved here 30 years or so ago, were all pine trees down there in neat rows. I mean, beyond this next apartment complex. The occult symbolism of the everyday. Occult symbolism of the everyday. Cult symbolism of the everyday. Cult symbolism of the quotidian. Occult symbolism of the everyday. Cult the occult symbolism of the everyday. Occult symbolism of the everyday. Occult symbolism of the quotidian. A new movie by Hal McGee with contributions by Rafael Gonzalez and featuring Stanley. Weekly diary film, activities as a neighborhood ranger. Almanac data recordist, weather reporter, observer of minute changes in everyday life, uncovering the unknown in the everyday, discovering the symbolism in the hidden details of everyday life, that if, that if we look, really look and really see, we we will see you and me and us and the occult symbolism of the everyday. A joy report, a personal diary, a catalog of phenomena, a web of lies and jokes, Riddles and puns. Chance encounters. Cloud formations and wildflowers. Footprints in the sand. Cracks in the pavement. My home and work environment. Recorded April 1st through April 8th, 2021. The occult symbolism of the everyday. Lunch on Thursday, April 8th, 2021. Yes, sir, here's your lunch too. eats for dinner and, and breakfast every morning. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. Yes, he yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told him about fucking stuff. Oh, he's so cute. You are so...